morning. Good morning. I know there, I think there's a bit of a pause, hey, right at the beginning. Well, I'm waiting for that thing to say now you're live and I think I'm already live. Anyway, welcome. Good morning. Happy hump day. Wednesday is my favorite day. I know there's just something about Wednesdays and um, the, the next lesson that we're learning. I just absolutely love it. All right, what I want to talk to you about this morning is you. It's all you. Everything that has happened in your life and everything that is happening right now is because of you and what you think about. Now, I'm going to tell you a few things here that maybe you've, like me, spent a lot of money getting ready and they're not even needed. However, maybe they made you feel better. But I want you to understand this. It does not matter what your social media says. It does not matter what your profile says. It does not matter any of the external stuff that is going on there. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter what you drive. It doesn't matter what holidays you take. It does not matter about anything. Nothing matters except how you think and what you think about. Now, I ran a training last week and I asked a lot of you that signed up for this training, and I know a lot of you just watched it in the background, which is perfectly fine, but I want you to think about what do you think about most of the day? Do you think about the lack of what you want? Do you think about the hardships that you might have in the future? Do you think about how hard you had it before in the past? Do you think about relationships that went wrong? Do you think about all the things that could go wrong? Do you think about what's wrong in the world? Do you think about like, what are you thinking about? Now, if it is not what you want, you're not going to get it. You are not going to get it. You are just going to be sideways and be derailed and taken off track most of the day. I came up with a new program last night. I can't wait to make it. Anyway, that was just in my, my little thing because I'm always thinking, how can I help these people get the understanding that you get what you think about. So you have to change your thinking right now. What are you thinking about yourself? What are you thinking about your life? What are you thinking about your kids? What are you thinking about your holiday? And what are you thinking about your job that you're going to? What are you thinking about right now? What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about what you want? Are you thinking about the person that you need to become? Are you thinking about the things that you would do once you're there and then starting to incorporate them into your day? What are you thinking about? You don't have a problem out there. All The only problem you have is what are you thinking about? And if you do not start to think into the results that you want, you are actually pushing what you want away. Now, I have a lot of people say, I've got to go to this therapist and I've got to go and have this done or maybe I've got to have some of this work done on it. None of that. You don't need any of that. Yes, it may help you feel better. And that's a great thing if it helps you feel better. But it's not needed. What's needed is you need to feel the emotions that are coming through your body because they're telling you where your thinking is. So allow them to leave and then get back into what you think, what, where you need to be thinking and what you need to be thinking to have what you want. Now you might say to me, oh my God, Polly, that is just so much easier said than done. Yes, I can get that too. But I've also been where a lot of you have been, thinking about myself negatively, thinking about how my kids are misbehaving and how that shows and da 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 and blah blah blah. It is just noise. If you are thinking about what you want, all of that out there changes. Everything changes. Because if it is not going to be present in what you want, you've got to take your attention away from you, away from it. That is the only way that things stop reoccurring, is you take your attention away from it. You, and you know, one of the easiest ways that I can explain this, if you've ever had bites, like I've been to Dundee and had midgy bites, like my whole feet, my ankles, up to my knees, because that's where my clothing stopped. It is like not scratching them when all they want you to do is scratch it. So the outside is like that. It just wants your attention and it will keep coming at you and keep coming at you until such time as it, it's like it's like a little kid that says, oh, well, that tactic didn't work. I'll try another one, try another one. But as long as you can start keep taking your attention away from that and keep your attention on where you're going, all of that will start to die down and turn into everything that you want. The people that you want to attract are going to come into your businesses or whatever it is that you're doing. 
the holidays are going to start to turn up. The people that you want to go on holidays with will probably ask you to go on holidays with them. The places are going to turn up. The cars that you want to drive will be sitting in your driveway. All of these things are going to start changing. And your, your family relationships, if you want a different family relationship, you've got to start to invest in that and not get involved in the negative stuff. Now, you may be called stuck up like I was. Sorry, mum, but you did. You called me stuck up because I sat there and I didn't get involved into your negativity. That's okay. That's showing me that I'm getting great at practicing this. And if I don't do that, I'm going to be stuck over there in that old story. And I don't want that old story. So really think about it. Who are you and who are you turning up as? Are you turning up as your past? Or are you turning up as where you want to be? Who you want to be? The lifestyle that you want to live? Really think about this. And... If any of this is making sense and you're like, oh my God, my whole day is spent thinking about what's going on, trying to solve my problems and all of that. And all I'm thinking about is where my life is right now. I'm sorry, but you are never going to get your goal with that thinking. You have to change and you have to change moment by moment by moment by moment. It cannot be something that you put off till tomorrow because this moment right now is creating the next one and then the next one and then the next one. So get into this right now. Start thinking about what you want. If you have decided, okay, I, I can't do this on my own because this is way bigger than Ben-Hur. I get that because I couldn't. I could not do it. And, that, and having a structure that actually says to me, okay, this week we're going to think about this and we're going to release any of the things in us that are not it. And that's what we're going to do this week. I was like, holy shit, yes, that's what I need to happen, help me with. Because otherwise I will be doing the work doing what I'm telling you to do, but without daily accountability and daily direction and a place for my thinking to go, I will tune into what's going on around me or somebody else that's telling me that my dream is just too big or it's just not happening now or I'll be tuning into the bank account that's saying to me, oh, I don't know how that's happening. This is not da 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 da. Or maybe the family's all having a big argument and you're getting involved and you're like, I don't wanna be in here anymore. This is all normal. But if you start to harness your thinking, all of that stuff doesn't touch you anymore. And you are in control. And it's quite simple. Think about what you want and leave the rest alone. It's like going on a buffet. And I know I've said this all the time. Do you walk up to a buffet that you've just paid maybe $90 for this buffet? Do you go up to that buffet and say, I fucking hate oysters and go and put six on your plate? Do you go up to that buffet and say, I really don't like this and then start piling it onto your plate? But you do that in life. You sit there and you talk about all the things and you start whinging about all the things and I can see it in Facebook that everybody's whinging about what's going on. They're talking about it and they wonder why it's not going away because you reactivate it all the time. What do you need to stop activating? So you stop putting that stuff on your plate. You only put on your plate when you go to a buffet what you want to eat. And sometimes you just get a little try of everything. You're like, oh, I really like that. And you go back and get more of that. That's what you do at a buffet. You don't go up there and pile all this other stuff onto it. So everybody, you need a bit of a shake up here. And this is me giving it to you. Now, I gave you wake up last week. I gave it to you as a gift to help you get there. Use it. Now, we are extending it till Sunday because some of you decided that you were too busy. <laughs> How, is that what you want for your, not, for your life? That you're too busy to do the things that you want? Like, really? Just think about that. Think about some of the things that you're saying. Is that what you want for your future? Stop talking about it. If you don't want it, don't activate it. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Don't do anything about it. Just focus on where you're going. And keep your energy in line with that. Because whatever you're feeling, and you'll have feelings about yourself. You might go, oh, I'm just not worthy. Bullshit. If you can think it, you can have it. Don't buy into that paradigm that you're not worthy. A lot of people are trying to sell you stuff because they think you're not worthy. You are worthy. You're worthy right now. And you're enough right now. You're just focused in the wrong place. Bring your focus back. Where am I going? Will this be a problem? No. Take my attention away from it as much as I can. 
if it's an injury you imagine yourself like I've got people at the moment that have got some injuries imagine yourself how you want to be and sit in that energy you will heal yourself a whole lot faster I hope this has been a little pep talk for you because I am so passionate about this and so passionate about helping you all get to where you want to go but you've got to come to the party I can't do it for you your mother can't do it for you your kids can't do it for you your husband or your wife can't do it for you or your partner nobody can do it for you you've got to do it and you've got to ask yourself what am I thinking about most of the day and if I'm not thinking about my goal where is my attention going because that's what I'm creating and if I don't want more of that I've got to take my attention away from it clean up your thinking clean it up now if you want any help with that just yell out I will jump on a call with you and I will probably ask you to come and join me well nine times out of ten I will some people I say no I'm sorry I just don't think I can help you because you're in that place where you are just unhelpable at the moment or unteachable or uncoachable because some people think they know it all and they tell me that they're doing all this stuff but then they tell me that their life is like this and I know that they're not doing it so if you really are serious about going forward with this don't stuff around with it don't play around with it and sit on the fence for an, another month or another year this moment right now is creating the next moment so if you get into alignment with what you want and who you want to be and if that means that you will always and understand this if your goal requires or demands you have to upgrade something that right person will turn up then you have to take action and you can say no to that and stay where you are and it can be in anything it could be like me I went on a retreat and I was thinking okay I really want to connect with this next level of people my branding and stuff was sort of a lot home based and was done pretty cheaply just in my backyard if I wanted to connect to that my goal demanded that I had to upgrade I had to upgrade my self image so I go on a retreat and there I meet a personal branding lady and I sat on it for three months thinking about it da 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 didn't look her up I don't look people up I don't go looking at their profiles I just know that there's a connection here and I rung her one day and I said I think I need to work with you and she said yeah I was hoping you were gonna say that she didn't have to ring me she didn't have to sell me or anything she just decided that I was gonna work with her and I I'm the one that reached out so I've already decided that I want to work with a lot more of you what are you deciding what are you thinking about are you thinking to keep yourself stuck or are you jumping in it's all up to you now wake up now comes down on Sunday so get in and watch it if you've watched it once watch it again if you've watched it twice watch it again take this opportunity you don't get opportunities handed to you and then turn a blind eye to it now anybody that's on here commenting or watching I'm sorry I can't see anything it's Facebook's playing some funny buggers with me which will be mine I'm on the problem there so there'll be something in me that I need to upgrade and see as differently and then I have to take action so and I think my action is to shut down my whole computer and maybe remove a few things and come back again anyway all right have a great day remember you're the most important thing you're the only person that can change your life decide today that this is the last day or this this moment right now is the last moment you're gonna stay here the rest is onwards and upwards let's go see you later bye bye